is the name of our God. Hallelujah. Our God is worthy to be praised. He's the reason why we are gathered here this morning. So put on your dancing shoes as we praise Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
call worship God. Somebody begin to worship God. Say sweet things to Him. Adore His name. He is worthy to be extolled. He is worthy to be praised. He is a magnificent God. The omnipotent God. The one who created the heavens and the earth. The one who speaks and no one can talk. The one who says a thing and no one can reverse. He's the God we serve. He's a great God. He's a good God. Hallelujah to you, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
As you are standing in this auditorium this morning, without a shadow of doubt, you can say that I am the one that the Lord has helped. Chill, let me finish. I'm still going somewhere. If indeed you believe the word of God, that this is your month of supernatural victory, we're going to shout three hallelujahs unto the Lord this morning. Tell your friend, give me space. Tell the people around you, give me space. I want to praise my God. Praise the Lord! <laughs> the devil is a liar. Praise the Lord! He didn't go away from the floor. So how can it even get to the middle? Praise the Lord. Amen. He's deserving of all the praise. A clap offering unto the Lord. For your own testimonies. For your own testimonies, for your own testimonies. You might not be standing here this morning, but you are saying, Father, I'm clapping to say thank you. From the depths of my heart, I'm saying thank you this morning. I'm looking over my life. I'm looking over 2024. And I'm saying you have been good, you have been God, you have been faithful. All the praise, all the honor, all the adoration to our God. In Jesus' name. Let's be seated majestically as kings in the presence of the Lord. Psalm 48 from verse 1 to 3. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. In the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, he's beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole earth. Is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in her palaces for a refuge. If indeed God has been a place of refuge unto you, either you come out or not, just give a praise offering unto the Lord this morning. Also, I'm going to read from Psalm 108 
from verse 1 through to 3. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. Among the gods, who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praise, always do. We have Sister Tonya Adeshion come out. Sister Tonya Adeshion, followed by Brother Eni Lolobo Adeshino. Please come to the middle aisle so that we save time. Sister Tony Adeshion. You wanted me to think I saw an angel. Thank you for coming out. Good morning, church. Good morning. I want to thank God for not adding another year to my year this week. I give God the glory. And also thank God for my daughters that they are doing their exam. I give God the glory for their life and they are going out and they are coming in. I also thank God for church, for protecting the church of God. <laughs> and for the goodness and the mercy that God has using people for my life, for my home. I thank God for their life. They will continue to exploit them. Praise Jesus. the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. If you have been at a point where your back was against the wall, you will understand what she has said. Not many words, but God understands and she understands. The one that God has helped. Brother Eni Lolobo, please. Sister Chinay Kechuku, please come to the aisle. Sister Doi or Detola, please come to the aisle quickly. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to the glory of God concerning what God is doing in my life and in my family. On July 1st, God added a year to my year. I have been in a situation when on the occasion of my birthday, I could not celebrate with my family. It was really distress. Somebody being in distress. When Pastor Jimmy was talking and he used part of the psalm to encourage us and let us know that we need to pray that prayer, that if we have ever been in distress, we will know what it means to be in distress. For just a day or two or three of not being able to move, to see anybody, to eat what you want to eat, if one has ever been in that situation, any birthday one will celebrate it. I give glory to God. I am ill and hearty. On my birthday, I was ill and hearty. Before then, I was ill and hearty. Thereafter, I, I am ill and hearty. I give glory to God. My second testimony is concerning what looks like insurmountable. But because I hold on to God that we serve in fountain of life, and I believe in the word of the men of God that God commissioned over us. I kept on holding to God fanatically that what has started must finish well. To God be the glory. Just a few weeks ago, school fees that looks like impossible to be paid, somebody from a place gave me a quarter, another gave a quarter. In one of our showers, I was going out, and I greeted somebody I have seen for a long time. Ah, what happened? What happened to you? I've not seen you for a long time. As I was going, the person said, come, 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 come. Look, what can I do for you? Your daughter, is, has everything said to you? Uh, I said, God is doing it, but it remains. He said, God is doing it, it remains. Give me your account number. Lo and behold, 30 minutes before I step out of this church, the person transferred, last child, the person transferred the balance. To God be the glory. My daughter is in her campus, in her hostel. She is fine, she is doing well. Everything that God started, God finished well. This commission, God is in this commission. God is moving in this ministry. And God will continue to move. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sachina here, please. Praise the 
praise our Lord. I'm thanking God on behalf of my family friend. She has been looking for a job for the past few weeks, but I thank God that by today, by the special grace of God, she's resuming in a new work at Mende. Praise our Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Sister Doi Odetola, thank you. Good morning, pastors. Good morning, church. Um, I've come to testify to the glory of God. Last week, Tuesday, I took my son to school. Volume, please. Last week, Tuesday, I took my son to school. And coming back, there was a little traffic for like 20 minutes. After the traffic, we, um, I was um, driving along the express. So I was going to turn to the main road leading to my house. And there was a car in front of me. I stepped on the brake. And I stepped on the brake again. I was not in control of it. I realized that the brake has failed. And without thinking, without even looking at my side, I just swerved to the other lane. There was a marrow in front of me. And I was this close to eating the marrow. I don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. Because what I just saw me eating the marrow and we were both moving already. That was what I saw in my head, like, but in all, I was still saying blood of Jesus, and I was still pressing the brake without giving up. I don't know how it happened, but I saw myself back on the other lane. And all of a sudden, I was still pressing the brake, and the car stopped. I don't know what happened, but I thank God for supernatural victory over accident. I thank God for supernatural victory over death. It could have been worse. Some people have gone through this kind of thing, and the shock alone took their life. Slowly, I was just driving, and I just parked in front of the house and came down. I thank God because tomorrow is my birthday, and my family members are not seated. They've not even sat down to make um, a decision that she's going down the ground today or even on her birthday. I want you to thank the Lord for me, and I want you to just praise the Lord for unmerited favor in my life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. People came out to thank God for birthdays. And sometimes we look at such testimonies. The reason is because you don't know what happened between the last birthday and the present birthday. So when somebody comes up, and says, I want to thank God for another year. They are the ones who understand. So for everyone celebrating, we all celebrated our birthday in the month of June. It was our birthday every, every day in the month of June. So those celebrating, we rejoice with you. The Lord will keep on sustaining your lives in Jesus' name. Brother Deshino was sharing testimonies about people that helped him. One of the things that we've realized is that as Christians, most of us don't build relationships outside the church premises. We just feel they gave offering, they gave tithe. Church must have money. And we despise family, we despise friends. We don't build interpersonal relationships. If he didn't have those relationships, he would not have enjoyed the blessings that God brought to him through those people. So please don't despise your family members. They might not be in the same church. They might not be in the same faith with you. But there's a reason why God has placed us together in the same family. And the people that you know, if they are not yet born again, intercede for them. Reach out to them. Ultimately, you never know who the last man standing with you will be. Praise the Lord. Hmm. If you have been there, you will know. If you know, you know. When the brakes of a car decide to fail, who do you call? What do you do? The worst can happen. But in the month of supernatural victory, the Lord God Almighty, he arose on our behalf. Not just for her. On behalf of her family and on behalf of the family of God in this place. 
And that God that delivered her will keep on delivering all of us in the mighty name of Jesus. Sometimes I get into the public transport on purpose. I just go out, I underdress, and then I get into maybe a keke just to move around. And I enjoy it. But when you're always in the car, there are some gists and there are some, ah. So this particular day, a few days ago, I was in a bus. And there was this song that caught my attention. I'm going to sing it this morning. It's a prayer as I step down. King Jo Lairi Lu, King Jo Biadit. It seems as if a lot of people know it. I'm the one that is just coming into it. Okay, let's rise up. That song says, the miracle that will occur, that will make me dance like somebody that cannot talk. The joy that I will experience, that will make me dance like the one that cannot hear. Before the end of this year, Father, let it start from my life. Let me dance without waiting for the instrumentalists. Let me dance like David danced. Can you lift your voice unto the Lord and say, let it start from me. In this month of supernatural victory. Declare unto the Lord. We have called for testimonies this morning. And I know that you indeed have awesome testimonies. Some of us are shy to come up. But declare it unto the Lord. Let it start from me. Let me be the reason why people are rejoicing before the Lord. Let it start from me, O Lord. Let the joyful tidings start from me. Let the rejoicing start from me. In Jesus' name. As we pray for our offering, we're going to take that song as I step down. Or we should take it before we take offering. We should take it, Abbe. Let's take it. Okay. How many people know the song? So I know the number that I take. Is it number 50 or number? Praise the Lord. Okay. 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 We are going to take it two times. This one, you know, it says, I'm going to sing and dance without waiting for the instrumentalists. So you are going to do it singing and dancing without the instrumentalists. Then the final one, they will now give us the best of their instruments. And you will give God the best of your praise. And then we'll now take the offering. Are we together? Let's go. I'm the choir master this morning. Father, 
Mario Baba, Jeoso Ri Michele, King Joe Lai Rilu, King Joe Biaditi, Yanu Tio Shete, Tommy Joe Rioti, Ayo Tio Shete, Tommy Joe Biaditi, Adito Mario. shall it be in Jesus name that joy that miracle that will start from us and it will infect others that will make people to praise our God and to rejoice with us God will let it start from each of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus let's bring our offerings out please this morning the Lord God Almighty has blessed us He's not asking for everything that he has blessed us with. But you have something to give. Let's rise up with our offering this morning. Let's give on to the God that is always giving. The one that never stops. The one whose hands are always open. Whose ears are always attentive. And so, Father, this morning we thank you. We thank you for the seed that you have given to sowers and bread that you will give to eaters. We thank you that this morning we are brought out of the abundance that you have given unto us. Our offering is a testimony that, Lord, you have been good to us. It is by faith that, Lord, as we give, good measure will be returned unto us. It is a declaration that our God is faithful and so others will join us to worship him. And so, Father, as we saw this morning, we ask in the name of Jesus that your blessing will rest upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Replenish every person, oh God, with abundance in the name of Jesus. And for those, oh Lord God Almighty, who might be believing you for seeds to sow, we pray that the heavens will be opened over you and your earth will yield increase in the name of Jesus. And the church of God will be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord.
some praise in this place. Give God a shout of hallelujah. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Say hallelujah is the highest praise. Hallelujah is the shout of victory. In case you have forgotten, it is your month of supernatural victory. Irregardless of what the situation or the circumstance is saying, at the end of it all, the spoiler is you win. In spite of what the devil might be suggesting or saying, you need to remember that you are seated at the right hand of the Father who is far above every principality and power, every ruler of darkness in ages, in the present or the past to come, for above every other name or every title that can be conferred and inferred, they are under your seat. Because now we know that God gives victory to his anointed. We know that he answers on high from its heavenly sanctuary and with his right hand he brings about victory. We know that some trust in horses and some trust in chariots. But you see, we, we trust in the name of the Lord, the matchless name of the Lord the impenetrable name of the Lord. The name of the Lord, which is a strong tower. The righteous run in and they are saved. So since I was young, but now I am old, I have never seen the righteous forsaking or a seed begging for bread. Look at your neighbor, say, at the end of it all, you win. I need you to look at that neighbor in the eye and say, at the end of it all, you win. Look at somebody else, say, at the end of it all, you are more than conqueror. Say welcome to your month of supernatural victory. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. If you receive it, shout amen. amen. If you know that it's done one more time, give God a shout of hallelujah. You may be seated. Don't go yet. You may be seated. Um, I feel like it's going to be an unusual service. I kind of have an idea where I thought I wanted it to go. We'll see where it ends up. Amen. Amen. Um, for somebody, you came in, and what I can describe it as is like a garment of heaviness. And you just decided to come to church. It's despite how you were feeling. Coming to church was an act of faith. And I heard God say as we were dancing, he was stripping off that garment of heaviness and cloaking you with a garment of praise. While you were there, you didn't know, you know, when we started praise and worship, you, you were kind of just doing it for participation points so you can mark attendance. But somewhere in the middle, the joy started to flow from the inside. And the Lord will have me say, it marks the beginning of joy in your life. Amen. Right, okay. So, um, um, oh, 
Pastor Toy Jayola from Trem is here with us. Good to have you with us, ma'am. Thank you so much for being here with us. God bless you, ma'am. Good to see you. Now, you are putting me under pressure from Trem. Just see Bishop. I'm just kidding. Good to have you here. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Okay, so I'm kind of torn whether they should go or whether they should stay. You say they should stay? Ah. <laughs> they say you should stay. It's like we'll preach together. I feel like God is up to something. Um, so there's this thing I used to do in 316. And those who know me know that we didn't stop preaching today. But there's this thing I used to do in 316 where I would go and hand the mic to someone random. And ask a question. What is the Lord saying? Well, usually I would start with our pastors. I'm sure the people are happy. <laughs> Say, what kind of setup is this? We come to church for exam today. Now oh, you're good. But I found that when he has me do that, things, some unusual things happen. I have a, I have a, I have a sermon. As a matter of fact, it's called Battle Conversations. So don't think that I'm doing this because I don't have sermon. It's called Battle Conversations. Let me not say much about that before I start talking about it. So I really feel like speaking about battle conversations, we need to have conversations this morning. Pastor say, what is the Lord saying? Usually I don't give them heads up, but I, I told them. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What is the Lord saying? Okay, amen. Okay, so I did kind of have a little bit of a head up, heads up um, when we were coming out. So as we were worshiping, I was just, you know, trying to search my heart and ask God um, what he would have me say today. Because sometimes, like, if you take my phone, you can preach one year because I have different, but I didn't want to say something because I had learned it before. I wanted to say what God wanted me to say, and he gave me a scripture. It's in Matthew eleven twenty eight. And as Pastor Jay was speaking, he actually used the word, um, so that's what we're going to be looking at. How many we need to have? You know, Pastor can stop there. Yes. Okay, Matthew eleven twenty eight says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Come to me. The come there talks about get away with me. It calls it come up either. That's the Greek translation. Come up either with me. I know that you've been through a lot this year. And I don't know who I'm speaking to. It's not making sense. You came to church because it's not... You know, as I was reading that scripture, Pastor Jay said, and I was excited. Um, I thought he wasn't going to call me again since God already made him say it. God is not calling you to come to church. There's a difference between coming to church and coming to God. As Christians, we have perfected the heart of coming to church. And that's why after the service, we are like, ah, aspire to perspire. And give it an hour. And that's why the scripture says that when the cares of life comes, it says sometimes it chokes away the seed because there was no root. We didn't come to God. We didn't come away with him. So the anecdote for re or the recipe for rest, you know, the Bible says, Labor to enter, rest. The recipe for it, the recipe from all the burdens that we carry, that like PJ said on Sunday, as kings we are not meant to carry, is to come away with God. When you come away with God, you see God for who he really is. And much more than seeing him for who he is, you see who you really are. 
And when you see who you really are, you are able to walk through life with an understanding, with a knowledge of who you are. But until you come away and you see him, because we were created in his image. And as you see him, you see you. And when you see you, you know there are two kinds of knowledge, right? Um, there is the gnosis and epignosis, right? Gnosis is head knowledge. What you learn, what I'm saying right now is gnosis because you can't forget. Epignosis is knowledge by experience. The Psalm 2 that PJ, the theme scripture for the month says, now we know that knowledge there is epignosis. is knowledge by experience. Knowledge by when you come away with him and you experience the king. And when you see the king, you see the king in you. And when you come with that understanding of that king in you, when you come out to life and life tries to tell you otherwise, you know who you are. When life challenges and the storms of life blow, because the Bible says that in this world you will have trouble. But when it blows, your house is built on a rock and you know that you cannot fail. That's how you enter rest. This rest is not necessarily the presence of no trouble. It's that in spite of the trouble, I know I win. In spite of the doctor's report, I know I'm healed. In spite of my bank account, I know I have more than enough. In spite of whatever the challenges that life throws at you, you know where you stand. Why? You have come away with him. So God is calling us this morning to not just come for showers. It's to come away with him. It's to come up either. It's to come out with him. And as you, have you ever been with someone that has body odor? And they hug you. Um, uh, Pastor Norman and I used to have inside joke. When somebody comes to our office and like, ah, she just say PB, take over. <laughs> when you just say take over, I just bring air fresh and I just like, <laughs> because, you know, that's what happens when you come away with God. His aroma, his shekinah, the weightiness of his presence rubs off on you. And when you get out to the world, no challenge can stand the weightiness of God's presence. That's what it means to come away with God. You come away with God and he rubs off on you. So I'm trusting that your experience in today's showers will be such that as you step out into the world, the aroma of God's presence, the fragrance of life unto life will flow everywhere that we go and that God will be glorified in Jesus' name. Come on to me, all those who are heavy, burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. I made a, I said, I felt like someone here came to church today with heaviness. So God wants to do something right now very quickly. If you're here and you know that you came into church with heaviness, just stand up wherever you may be. You came with heaviness. You came with heaviness. You came with heaviness. Now, if you didn't come with heaviness, don't call heaviness on yourself and stand up because you want to be a monk. Just lift your hands up to Jesus. He's about to touch you right now. So I was, find my key. I cast, find my key. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all of my burdens down. 